Hello and welcome to today's video and today we're looking at a pen. Uh, this will be an overview and a quick review of a Visconti pen, obviously by the box. Uh, and that pen is the Michelangelo model. Now this is the Michelangelo True Blue and with the rose gold finish. What we'll do is we'll have a quick look at the pen. I'll show you some of the features and the, uh, and the particular parts. I'll talk about the things that I really like about the pen and give a couple of things that may be a bit of an issue to some users and then we'll do a writing sample. So first up we'll start with um, the measurements. So in terms of weight, this is not a light pen. It's certainly not heavy, but it's not a light pen. It's 32 grams uh, in total when it's inked, uh, of which 12 grams is in the cap, uh, which actually makes the pen, in my opinion, balanced when posted. But I'll go into that a little bit uh, shortly. The length of the pen is 14 centimeters when it's capped. It's 12. Uh, 0.4 centimeters when it's uncapped and a really comfortable 16 centimeters when it's posted. Now just for the comparison's sake, uh, I'll put it alongside a couple of pens that are uh, that at least you should most of us will be familiar with. First is the Pilot Metropolitan and then second is a uh, Lamy Safari. Now as you can see they're all really similar sized pen uh, and it does make for a comfortable size uh, in the hand when writing which is a very pleasant experience with this pen now you can write with this very comfortably unposted it's a decent length uh, and it's nice and it, the weighting is down towards the nib which uh, means that it feels like there's less pen in your hand but when you post it it actually feels very comfortable. Most of the weight is then supported on the webbing uh, as a good majority, a third of the weight of the pen is in uh, the cap. It also means that the pen is actually really nicely balanced just below uh, the cap. I can't make it do it now, but it is. There we go. Um, and as I said, that's where a lot of the weight of the pen sits on the webbing of your hand. So, as for the parts of the pen, I'll show these in sort of close-up photos, but we do know the uh, Visconti clip is a, is a popular feature of these pens, designed to emulate the Ponte Vecchio in Florence, which is where these pens are manufactured. And so this is the rose gold trim, so it's got that sort of slight, uh, I suppose, pinky sort of tinge to the gold, which I think is really quite lovely. Uh, and the blue is very nice. It's got quite a lot of depth, but where the light picks it up, it's quite a, a nice vibrant blue. Uh, the end of the pen is just plain gold, and the top of the cap is has the little Visconti emblem on the magnetic uh, cap point on there. The section is uh, metallic. The entire pen is made of metal. Uh, and that section does mean that you do get some fingerprints. It is a fig fingerprint uh, magnet. Uh, you can't really avoid that. The pen is a cartridge converter pen and it comes with uh, the converter. Uh, and I've had no problems with this. I think it's a really nice uh, converter made by Visconti as well. A couple of little like finishing issues um, on, the, on the, the converter. And also one thing that shouldn't bug me but does is this little squeak from the end cap there just but it shouldn't bother most people as you don't normally go around squeezing the end of your pen um as i said i'll show you some nice sort of close-up photos of these sections of the pen the, around the edge of the uh, band the engraving says visconti michelangelo um and it's, I think it's a really pretty pen. The nib is a steel nib, um, tinted to be the same color as the rose gold. Uh, and this is a fine, not sure how well the camera, there we go. I'll put a nice close up picture of it. It's actually a really pretty nib. It says Visconti Firenze and F with some lovely scroll work. 
Now, a debate with this pen will always be its price point. It is quite an expensive pen for a steel nib, but in my opinion, that's not necessarily a downside. It does write in incredibly smoothly. These Visconti pens are really very wet, as you're about to see in the writing sample. So I think a good steel nib is better than a, a lot of the entry-level gold nibs. This is a well-tuned nib. It, it writes very smoothly and it's, it's a good, really good nib uh, and makes this pen really nice for sort of everyday writing. Well, now I'll do a quick writing sample of, uh, with the pen just to show you sort of what it's about. I've got this currently inked with Hiroshizuku Konpeki, which is sort of like a, a grey ink to a lot of people. It's a beautiful, vibrant, light uh, or medium blue, I suppose. We have a Visconti. Michelangelo and the finish is the true blue and rose gold and I have this in a fine nib. The ink is yeah, Yoroshizuku Konpeki and as you can see it's a really nice very wet pen. It's it lays down a large amount of ink. It's very smooth. There's a you can hear a slight bit of feedback, but most of that is coming through um, just the the camera's microphone. On the paper, it's just absolutely a dream to write with. Um, it's a little hard at times to get shading uh, with this pen because it does put down quite a lot of ink. Uh, but when it's there, it is beautiful. You can see some hints of it, sort of. In the cross hatching around there. Um, as any sort of good well tuned nib, it can write under its own weight, uh, albeit very finely, and it's just a joy to write with. In terms of uh, line variation, I don't like to push this nib, but you can squeeze a bit of a bit of line variation out of it. But it's certainly not a soft nib or even close to a, a flex nib, and I certainly wouldn't I said wouldn't push it too far for fear of um, springing the tines. Reverse writing. Um, it's not as smooth, of course, as you would expect, and is a lot finer, and it does tend to run dry fairly quickly when doing that, but when writing the right way up, it does, it, I've never had a problem with this pen drying out. So, yes, this is the Visconti Michelangelo in the true blue finish. I think it's a really lovely pen. I think while the price point is high, I'm certainly not adverse to paying good money for a, a good pen. And I was able to get this at a, a fairly sort of decent price from a retailer in the United States, including postage. It was only uh, marginally uh, more expensive than uh, the entry level Rembrandt uh, from Visconti. And I think it's a, a nicer looking pen. The facets on the barrel um, are really beautiful and the trims are just really nice. I think it's a really classy looking pen and it certainly writes absolutely beautifully. That was the Visconti Michelangelo. If you like this video and found it helpful please give me a thumbs up. Um, please also subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button. Please send me uh, a message or, uh, either here or on my blog which will be linked below if you've got anything you'd particularly like me to look at or got any questions, I'm more than happy to answer where I can. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing and I'll see you later.